Here in Cincy, we sink long putts. She's made all pars to here. Sometimes. Needs to get something going. Attack pins. Par 312. Well, and this tee has been moved up today because it's a particularly tricky hole location, just 126 and nearly judging that distance. And make money moves on Saturdays. I'm Hope Barnett, and you're watching LPGA Now, presented by SurfPro. Let's get into it. For the second day in a row, Gino Titicoon leads the Kroger Queen City Championship, presented by P&G. You know, like, um, when you hit a bad shot, and then, you know, it's still in your, in your head, it's still in your mind, and I'm trying to delete it, um, or maybe, like, just get the good wishing, like, good ball striking that I have been playing on the, you know, from first hole till whatever hole, um, more than remember the bad things. If there is one way to describe her last three rounds, it would be consistent. Back-to-back -back 66s and a third round 68. She kicked off the day the right way with a birdie on one and three. And then on her par 5 eighth, she captured yet another one. And if there is one thing about this high superstar, she is going to take advantage of the par fives. She only had two pars on them all week. The rest, birdies, like she did here at 11. And then from just off the green on 15. Now Gino for the birdie. And Gino is making it a habit to birdie 18. Began the day with a one-shot lead. Thanks to our KPMG Performance Insights, we know that since 2012, Lydia Ko leads with the most bogey-free rounds, 133 of them. Under Lydia's belt, just in 2024 is an LPGA Tour win, an Olympic gold medal, a major championship title, and now she's going for another win here in Cincinnati. She trails Gino by two. I think um, all in all, I've been really consistent with my ball striking. Um, you know, I feel like the putting has been the most average part of my game um, you know, this week, but you know, I've still been able to make crucial putts at the right time. And you know, some, you know, sometimes when you do give yourself so many opportunities, you feel like you're not putting as well as actually you are. Um, so you know, I was just trying to not get down on myself and you know that if I keep giving myself the birdie looks and at one point it's going to fall. So I've been doing that fairly well and this golf course is kind of the style that you have to you know, keep giving yourself those chances and um, you know hopefully a bunch of them fall but yeah and no, I've been playing a solid these past three days and hopefully just more of that tomorrow. She had four birdies on Saturday and then on 10 we saw yet another textbook birdie. Oh lovely shot there leaving it below the hole putting. Uphill putt for Cole breaking to her right. For Lydia, Lydia putts left hand low anyway, so it's it's less of a movement for her to level those shoulders up. While the final two came on 14 and 18. And she Only miss. one behind Lydia is Yan Lu at 13 under, with Albon Valenzuela and Hate on You at 12 under. With the final round approaching quickly, who knows what might happen? Leave a comment and let me know who you think is going to hoist the trophy. And tune in on Golf Channel to watch. And come back right here to watch LPGA Now presented by SurfPro.